welcome back. So the next thing that we need to kind of complete our all the text we have down here is kind of to add a domain service and an application service on the core. Now I could split those into two projects, but I don't want to do that. I'm actually going to instead just make two folders in here to kind of explain one folder is going to contain all the information for the application service and the other folder is going to contain all the information for the domain service. Um, that's pretty much because in my case, I know that when I start using the, the core right here, I'm going to end up needing both anyway. So that's kind of why I want to do that. So let's just try and do this. I will go into the custom app core. I'll right click on that project and I'll say add new folder. And I'm going to call that domain whoop, domain service, right? Just like we have over here in the text. And I'm going to add another folder and I'm going to call that application service. So it's pretty much just a way for me as a developer both now and in the future to check my code and see application service could con should contain the services for working with UI. Domain service should contain the code for kind of working with the infrastructure. Pretty much meaning that whenever we're working with, whenever we have code in the domain service, it should be something that helps me talking down here in the domain service, right? And whenever I have code inside the application service, it should be information that helps me communicate up here. Again, I think it'll make sense as we start building this application and having some real code examples, but that's kind of why you do it. Yeah, back to the code. Now this pretty much means that we're going to get some very specific namespaces. Now what is a namespace? This is actually a namespace. And right now you'll notice that for this namespace right here, it's just called Console App 2017. And that's actually the name of the project right here. That's how you name a namespace. So for instance, our customer here, he'll be called with the namespace Customer App Core Entity, right? So that's the customer we have right here. But this customer down here, for instance, he'll have another one, he'll just have console app as namespace as well because he's right below the console app. Now this is valuable because we can have the same class name but in two different namespaces. So your namespaces should be unique. That's also why I kind of add the customer app in front of my different projects to make sure that it's the customer app that I'm building. A lot of people use their company name because that should be unique globally, right? So that's kind of why you want to make a good project name so your namespaces are also pretty amazing. If you want to change those later on, you can go under options or properties, and then you can see right here default namespace, and then you can just change that into something else if you want to later on. So it pretty much means that if we go back to our program right now, you'll notice that right now I'm still using, because these guys are in the same namespace, the console app and the customer, they're in the same namespace. It pretty much means that I don't have to put in a namespace up here to use them. Okay, but if I went in here and said the customer was actually in another namespace called uh, Dingo, there we go, let's just save that, capitalize D, that's the way they want it in .NET, you would notice that the program wouldn't know about the customer anymore. You'd start getting errors. Now, this customer, he can actually now be imported from two different namespaces. He can be imported from the Dingo namespace I just created, or he can be imported from the core entity namespace that I'm going to use in the future. But notice one thing right here. If I control or command uh, dot this guy, he'll only show the Dingo version for now. It actually has the reference right here, but in order to do that, I need to also add a reference to that project. So to use namespaces from other projects, I'm going to start, of course, needing a dependency, but for using a namespace inside my same, the same project, I can use um, just a namespace directly. What does that mean? Well, if we go in here and just import Dingo again to kind of make this not break that much, you'll see I get a using statement up here calling Dingo, right? So now I can read as a developer where this file is actually located if I want to. And I can also kind of decide if this is the right namespace, if this is the right customer file that I actually want to use. It's not in this case. Let's just remove that because the one I actually want to use it's actually instead from up here, this project right here. But in order to get access to that project from this project, I have to again add a dependency. So I'll add a dependency or edit reference, and I'll say I need to have access to the entity package for now, not the core, I don't need that for now, I'll get it later. So I'll just say okay here, now I have access to this project, and that means that if I again, if I command dot this guy, you'll see that I can actually now pick from both of these projects right here, and I want the core entity project there we go, I'll save this, and now it's up here as the core entity project, right? That pretty much means that when I start using the new customer from this project, I don't need the customer down here anymore. So I just kind of cleaned up some of the mess that we had. Let's just get rid of that. And that's 
pretty much just the idea behind namespaces. Now the reason I'm telling you this is because I added these two folders, I'll also get two different namespaces for these two guys. So whenever I create a file now for the domain service, let me just try and create a fake file right here. Fake one, there we go. Notice the namespace will not only be customer core, it'll actually be customer core and then the name of the folder, domain service. So whenever I now create a new file, let's just do it in the other one, let's call it fake two. Whenever I create a new file, it'll actually get the namespace will end with the name of the actual folder in here. And you could just keep doing that with folders and folders, etc. So that's pretty cool, that's pretty amazing. That means that now I can, as a developer, read if this is something that belongs in the application service or if it's something that belongs in the domain service. Again, just trying to explain to other developers the idea behind this. So whenever I look at the domain service, it should be stuff that talks to my infrastructure and whenever I talk to application service, it should be stuff that talks to my front end or the UI, the REST API of my application. That's pretty much the basic idea be be between these two uh, different service folders I just added right here. So in the next lesson, we're going to have a talk about the first thing we're going to place in here, the first pattern we're going to use, which is going to be the repository pattern. See you next time.